Hi there, my name is Andy Young and I'm one of the automotive lecturers down at Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand and welcome to my Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. Now, this is a bit of a short video. Um, one of my viewers, Mohammed uh, Mud Mudassa? Mudassa? Mudassa. Mohammed Mudassa, hopefully I've pronounced that correctly. Uh, he also has a little Suzuki Alto, that tenacious 660cc triple four-stroke Mini motor car, <laughs> I forget what year it is, it's 1992, 1996, I, re I really can't remember. But he has a problem with his, um, and he spotted one of my videos where I was fitting a fuel filter to one. Now that's my one of my many cars. It's a little automatic gearbox on there. And he has a problem with the wiring on his carburetor. There's a few little wires that go to the carb. And I think somebody's been playing around with it in the past and they've mixed the wires up and the car doesn't run very well. So he's asked me to, to do a really short video to film and show around the carburetor on that car so that he can basically work out which wire goes where. Now, I don't even have the proper workshop manual for that car. I've been struggling to find one. Um, just Yes, I could get one from Suzuki, but they're a fortune. Uh, and on the internet, I found one that's very similar, the F6A engine. Um, but it's not exactly the right manual for that car, but I'll keep looking. So let's, without further ado, let's head outside and give Mohammed what he needs to know so hopefully he can fix his car. Here we go. Okay, well before we can get to the carburetor, we're going to have to remove the air filter box. That's pretty easy. It's just a few little clips around the sides. Get all those taken off, and let's just ping those HT leads out of those clips as well. Right, so that should come off there. Yep, that's that bit away. Cool, and we can get the air filter out as well, which hmm, not too bad. Okay, what's next? Well, we've got those three bolts here to remove. One, two, three, and. Okay, but he'll take that off as well, I suppose. Get that out of the way as well. <laughs> there we go. Right, perfect. Okay, I'll do that and we'll have a look at the wiring. Okay, let's whip this off, friend. It's been a while since I've taken this off, actually. I did do a head gasket um, on this vehicle. Oh man, about 18 months ago I think it was. And we also changed the cam belt and the seals as well at the top. Didn't change the water pump though, that was fine. There was no video on doing the head because, well, Andy Mechanic wasn't ready around then. Okay, so what else have we got? That's that end. Oh, that's right, there's one here, look. I remember now. Now just lift away. Now there was I think you're right, a vacuum pipe. Yeah, just off there. Look. Okay. Yeah, one single solitary vacuum pipe. That just that's that one there. It goes on to here. Very important. Okay, so we've got to worry about the way of wires. Well, we've got this unit here that's got a red and a blue wire running from it, which runs basically round the passenger side of the car. And it comes to a connector, so let's pull those connectors out so Mohammed can see what's going on. Okay, so that's that wire there, look. And the connector for that, ooh, okay, so it's got a separate blue one. Where does that go? Oh, that's an earth. Okay, so the blue wire coming off this unit here goes to ground, and that's on that little screw there. And the red wire, which is in the sheathing, goes to this connector here, look. And it's also got another couple of wires, which come from... 
this unit here look if you can see that or not so we just get rid of that pipe and you can see what's going on better okay there you go so that unit there is the other two wires from that three pin connector okay so we'll put that back together again now so we don't forget now what else have we got there is other stuff so we've covered that, we've covered that. We've got quite a few wires on here actually. There's it's, uh, it's got a TPS on it, it's a throttle position sensor, which will be to do with the ignition mapping, which comes round and connects onto this. If I get it undone. Yes, there we are, look onto this three pin plug, more of a modern style actually, like a triangle type. So that's the that's for the TPS and the wires there, very confusing actually. You've got another blue one, a red one, and a black wire. Okay. So hopefully you're gonna work that one out. Okay, so we've covered the TPS, we've covered that one. Now there's another one down here, which I have no idea what that does. I think it's a yes, it's a micro switch, a little blue micro switch. So that'll tell the ECU maybe uh, when the unit's just off throttle. I've no idea. You have to check the manual. But that this is the plug for the two wires off that micro switch, and you've got the black and a white wire on that one. So just bear in mind that around the world, this same model of car um, can be wired up. You know, have different emissions stuff on the carburetor depending on the country it was built for um, but this car was New Zealand new so this was designed specifically for New Zealand uh, and the way that they set things up here okay so first of all I think this is to do with the auto choke but please don't quote me on it because I've not got a manual to hand you've got the red and the blue wire out there the blue wire goes to ground on that terminal, it doesn't really matter where it goes to ground, but it goes to ground on this particular cab on that screw. And the red wire runs down the conduit and comes round to that plug there. Okay. Now these other two wires, the red and the blue, that run down here, well they come off that unit there, look. Okay. Now the TPS sensor is right down there. That's the three wires, that's the throttle position sensor. And that wire connects, you've got the three colours, you've got the blue, the red, and it was black the other one, wasn't it? Yeah, blue, red and black. And they connect to that uh, triangulated type connector, a bit more modern, that one. And then, right down there, that green thing, I think, pretty sure that's a, like a micro switch. And that, for the wires off that one, run round and they connect to their lock a black and a white wire and they connect on the vehicle the white wire becomes like a turquoise turquoise with a black tracer by the looks of it let's even get that to focus for you it's not easy one handed right and the black wire stays black so the white wire turns to a turquoise with a black tracer there you go now on the going back to this one this is the three pin sort of old school plug there we go the top red wire goes to black with a white tracer now from memory I'm pretty sure that that's ignition live the blue wire goes to blue with a yellow tracer and the lower red wire goes Ah, also to black with a white tracer. Cool, so that's that one sorted out. And the only, only other one left is that micro switch, which is right down the bottom. Down there. Now we've done that one, haven't we? Yes. So TPS, last one. So your TPS unit, which is that unit, again, just to confirm, down there. Okay, with the three wires coming out of it. That goes to the triangulated plug, and the red wire that 
the red wire connects to white with a, with a yellow tracer. The blue wire connects to a white with a red tracer, which is, I'm pretty sure is ignition line as well. And the black connects to a black with a green tracer. Okay, great. Okay, so let's just get that fuel line put back on again. I'm back on there. Get the clip back on. Cool. Okay. Now that's all those wires connected. Nothing else disturbed. Great. Okay, now a bit tricky this. Make sure you get the you've got to fit that breather pipe first. Sorry, the vacuum pipe first then lock in these two breathers off the rocker cover. So that one first, and then it's really tricky because you can't really see what you're doing, but you'll feel it go on. Okay. Let's see if we can get a bit more lift on that because it's a bit, it's a bit awkward to get to. Actual fact, I don't think this one was on properly last time. There we go. Okay. Great. Let's do some bolts now. Let's put these three on first. One. Are we on? Three and the mounting bolt, which just goes on there. Okay. Now these are only M6, so I don't over tighten them. back in that clip now, shouldn't we? Yeah, took those down there. Right. Pop that back on. Brilliant. Okay. One air filter. Make sure it's seated all the way around. Otherwise, you won't get the top one properly. Now, just for the top. So, onto there first, and then offer it up. Get the clips on. There we go. And then just pop your HTVs back in that clip. Right, job done. Okay, Mohammed, look. Got my hands dirty for you. Um, hopefully that was helpful to you. And hey, who knows? There might be one or two other little Suzuki Alto owners out there in the world that found that helpful. Um, well, that's it. Good luck, Mohammed. Hope you get it sorted out. Uh, my name's Andy Young, and I'm one of the automotive lecturers down at Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand. And you've been watching the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. If you found the video helpful and you'd like to watch more, then why not? subscribe to the channel, click on subscribe, you'll see a little gear icon, click the gear icon and then you can tick to turn on notifications. And that way um, any of our friends, all of our friends down at YouTube, one of them will send you an email saying hey Andy Mechanics uploaded a new video and this is what it's all about and if you want to watch it click on it and watch it because it's good fun. Uh, you'll also find me on Facebook, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. I always get those in different orders every time. Uh, you can communicate through any of those if you like, but in preference, please, first port of call through YouTube on the comments section, uh, because really that's where everybody looks, because that's where the videos are. And if I give you an answer on there that might help somebody else, then it's going to be a lot easier for them to find that answer. So through YouTube first, if you wouldn't mind, that'd be great. 
Okay, crew, told you it was a short video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. I'll run out.